It was an exciting day yesterday to see all the new members get sworn in, uh, to see uh, this new majority excited about getting to work for the American people. There's a lot that we want to do. There's a lot we're going to do, working with in tandem with our new president and our new vice president. It's great to welcome our friend and former colleague Mike Pence back, uh, not as a member of Congress, but as the soon-to-be vice president of the United States, uh, as a great partner in working to get our country back on track. And there's a lot that we need to do. There's a lot we're going to do. Uh, but you also know that there's somebody else that's going to be here at the Capitol today, and that's Barack Obama. And I think when the president comes back here today, maybe for the last time as president, it's important to remember the first time that Barack Obama came here as president. Barack Obama came here and made very specific promises to the American people about Obamacare. He came here and said, if you like what you have, you can keep it. How did that work out? Today, millions of Americans lost the good health care plans that they liked and expected to keep and are not able to today because of the broken promises of his law. Barack Obama came here to this Capitol and said that if his bill passes, health insurance costs will drop dramatically for families. And instead, what have we seen? The reverse, dramatic increases in health care costs. In my state of Louisiana, over 25 percent increases that families are paying in higher costs for health care because of those broken promises of his law. I hope he comes here to apologize for those broken promises, but I don't think that's what's going to be the case. I think he's going to be here more concerned about preserving his legacy uh, than about fulfilling those promises. The good news is we are here to fulfill those promises to the American people. We told the American people that if you give us this great opportunity, that we're going to work hard every day, not just to repeal Obamacare, but to replace it with reforms that actually put patients back in charge of their health care decisions, that actually focus on lowering costs and increasing access uh, to health care, and to bringing doctors back in the practice of medicine who are getting out of the practice because they don't want unelected bureaucrats in Washington telling them how to deliver the health care that they were trained to provide. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.